That's absolutely correct. What we, the American people, need to be doing right now, very seriously, is deciding what kind of a nation we're going to want in the next chapter of the history of the North American continent. There are going to be all kinds of carpetbaggers walking around here saying, I've got a ready-made solution, a brand new government, just plug it in and everything will be fine. And you know that they'll be plugging in something that will serve their interest and not that of the people. And you just know there's going to be people walking around saying, well, you know, you are all honor-bound to honor the debts of the previous government. No, we're not. It's all an onerous debt anyway. The whole point of having one government collapse and starting a new one is everybody gets a clean start. It's like the ancient Roman Jubilee. All debts are wiped out. Everybody gets to but start But that's the crazy fresh. thing, Mike, is they've set up Northcom in the police state, and Thomas Barnett and others at the Pentagon admit that this whole thing is to extract the money from us, money we don't owe to these banks. They just made all these derivatives up. I, I mean, you know, they're... I don't think Northcom is going to carry it out, no matter how many flus they stage, how many terror attacks they stage. I don't see this working. We got Rock Howard, the uh, chairman of the Travis County Libertarian Party, coming up. Mike, stay there. Uh, we're going to talk to him briefly about this staged event the media uh, is saying it's staged, which it wasn't staged. They tried to blame the libertarians for it. Stay with us. Mike Rivera will be with us some of the next hour. Coming up, I'm going to play the video clips of Senator Cornyn being booed off the stage, Rick Perry being booed. I could play clip after clip of Republicans being booed at tea parties because the people know they support open borders, socialized health care, all this control. So the media is lying and saying these booing events are staged, A. Then B, they're lying uh, and saying that it's partisan. It's across the board. Now, Austin Campaign for Liberty, local Ron Paul group, they did send a few people out there. But you watch the crowd of hundreds, and my neighbor was there. Almost all of them are chanting and booing and chasing him out. When he told the crowd, this is confirmed on local news, I don't care what you want, I'm going to pass the health care. And so Mike Rivero riding shotgun with us uh, with a video connection on the radio at PrisonPlanet.tv. Rock Howard joining us for this segment and a little bit of the next. And those video clips are coming up. Rock Howard... Uh, Chairman of the Travis Libertarian uh, Party, it's great to have you on with us. Hi, Alex. How are you doing? Good. Um, I heard Saturday night you were being blamed by Lloyd Doggett, the Libertarians of staging this. I heard you on News Radio 590 AM, one of our local affiliates, last night saying N nobody called us. We didn't put an email out. So they're desperate to say that citizens don't spontaneously boo, and, and this has become a national story. Uh, Rock Howard, uh, did the Libertarian Party stage this? Uh, Alex, we did, not, we did not discuss this event or urge our people to go. Of course, we always urge our members to be active politically and to voice uh, their opinion. But no, this was not coordinated by us in any way. Well, isn't that the other big issue? The media, I don't know if you've seen the same reports I've seen nationally and locally, they keep acting like it's dirty to shout and chant, just say no as dog gets leaving. I thought that's as American as baseball and apple pie. Well, I tend to agree. I mean, if Doggett doesn't want to be a representative and listen to all the voices, then he can certainly resign. Well, yeah, that uh, what it, That's what it means to be a representative is to listen to all your constituents, and uh, it sounds like he's having a tough time doing that. Well, he only mailed this out to constituents because Rob Dew, my producer, his wife is a Democrat, registered Democrat, and they filled it out and said, we disagree with everything you're doing in the Fed, we don't want socialist health care, and mailed it in to him. I almost sent cameras but didn't have the crews because my two crews were in different parts of the country filming for a movie we're making, a film we're making. Uh, but uh, Rock Howard... To you, what does this signify in America that Congressman Castle's booed off the stage, Senator Specter's booed off the stage? Uh, I mean, Republicans and Democrats. I mean, have you seen the video of Cornyn being booed off the stage at the Tea Party? I mean, this is bipartisan. They want to make it a partisan issue. Why? Are they trying to prop up the political facade? Well, I can't speak to that, but I can say that, uh, yes, I've, I've uh, seen... Uh, the events with Cornyn, I had uh, close friends and members of our party were at both the Cornyn event and this latest event with Doggett. And we don't see it as, as uh, a partisan thing. We see it as the citizens trying to take action. And I think what I'm hoping that might be behind this and people might get the idea is, you know, maybe it's time in America we did like George Washington suggested and just get away from political parties. 
uh, because it's not proving to be helpful for anything we need to accomplish. Yeah, we need to get away from parties and get into issues. And until you know the first few presidents, it wasn't a party issue. And then it becomes this Coke versus Pepsi, Chevy versus Ford. Instead of going, hey, the same guy owns both factories. or this, It's like Don King boxing with these two parties. We need to get rid of Don King. Stop talking about Republican versus Democrat and talk about the manager of the fight. And that, uh, Mike, of course, that, of course, is the exact reason that, that we released our statement. Is the Libertarian Party is just simply not interested in getting into those Coke, uh, Coke versus Pepsi style arguments that have no substance and are all about labels. The other thing that you see the undercurrent in the media that's very distressing is this undercurrent that somehow all of these events are uh, are racist in nature, and that people are really upset because Obama happens to be black. Oh. Uh, I think that's very disparaging, and and I see that undercurrent in the media all over the place. That seems to be the the uh, Democratic uh, response to a lot of these events. You know. That is such a big issue and so obvious that I psychologically have kind of ignored it because it's so asinine. I don't want to live under socialism. I don't want open borders. I don't want to turn my guns in. I don't want to cap and trade only on the U.S. that will admittedly double our energy prices on, on electricity alone. And I've been on Democratic radio stations, and they go, are you a racist? And I'm going, what is this about? I don't want these policies. Rock Howard, do a few more minutes with us. I want Mike Rivero to pop in and comment on that. I don't think this is going to work, though, shouting people down as racist if they don't want to turn their guns in. We'll be right back with Rock Howard, chairman of the Travis Libertarian Party. Mike Rivero, whatreallyhappened.com.